the podcasting business is at an unusual crossroads. The market, which is set to see revenues of $1 billion this year, has attracted a list names from the Obamas, Harry and Meghan and Matthew McConaughey and has become one of the leading farm systems for IP, but there is still a Wild West sense to the medium. While it's an exciting place for talent and creators, there is still a chaos surrounding the business of podcasting and arguably outside of a handful of largely true crime stories and celebrity interview shows, there hasn't been a culture-defining hit since Serial launched in 2014. Jared Gutstadt, founder of Audio Up and formerly the man known for writing theme songs to shows like Porn Stars through his Jingle Punks business, is one of those who is strapping on his cowboy hat as he sets off on the ride. In a wide-ranging interview, conducted over Zoom from his Audio Chateau in LA, Gutstadt tells Deadline how he wants to create a podcast company that is one part Andy Warhol's factory and another part 1940s Louis B. Mayer Hollywood studio, working with characters such as Bob Dylan, James Elroy and Anthony Anderson, securing investment from companies including the soon-to-be Amazon-owned MGM, how Hollywood is starting to understand the medium and why scripted podcasts can sometimes be like jumping into a cold pool. Audio Up was launched in 2020 after Gutstadt, who says he's like a Roomba robot, exited Jingle Punks, the music and TV company that he founded in 2008 and sold to Ole in 2015. It began with an idea that turned into Bear and a Banjo, a fictional anthology series featuring Jason, Pooh Bear, Boyd and Rosanna Arquette, narrated by Dennis Quaid, produced by T-Bone Burnett and featuring some lyrics by Bob Dylan, who Burnett played with in the 1970s. Gutstadt says that the series became one of the largest pre-sales of a podcast at the time, close to seven figures, thanks to a presentation at South by Southwest, which led to iHeart snapping it up to distribute. I told everyone get out of my way, I'm going to learn how to write, direct, you know, produce, and I'm going to act in this thing. It was a weird sling blade moment and I threw myself into it completely, he adds. What happened next was it accelerated an interest in the space, from people going what is this? This is cool, you came to podcast with the right kind of intellectual energy. He admits that Bear and a Banjo was hard, it's like reading Gravity's Rainbow, especially in a world that was more used to the serial, NPR-style podcasts, but it ignited an idea to throw himself into the medium, largely with musical podcasts as well as a handful of interview shows. He is essentially trying to take the ubiquity of music streaming into the podcast space and realized that it has become an incredible development tool for storytellers, for brands and creatives, particularly musicians, during a time when the pandemic shut down touring.